so uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, what all different approaches can be taken uh, for uh, chord recognition what is chord recognition actually and then i'll show you different types uh, like different approaches uh, which you can be uh, taken yeah so so uh, introduction is like in general music learning public places a high demand on chord based representations of popular music as evidence by large online communities surrounding websites like e chords or unlimited guitar given prerequisite skill necessary to manually identify chord from recorded audio there is a con uh, considerable motivation to develop automated systems that are capable of reliably performing this task the goal of automatic chord uh, recognition uh, research is to develop system that produces a time aligned sequence of chords from a given music signal so now what a chord is so uh, let's say i'm playing an instrument whatever it can be uh, piano ukulele guitar etc uh, it we have some set of specific notes which are played to produce some sound now what chord is chord is basically a group of when three or more notes are played together to produce a sound so these group of three or more notes is known as a chord so actually what here uh, the problem statement is to trying to achieve uh, trying to automatically detect what chord is uh, being played using a system without manual intervention so i should be able to give a audio file or mic input to my system playing some uh, music and my uh, system should be able to transcribe the music uh, uh, in the form of chords so yeah this is the problem statement here so there will be uh, some approaches uh, which can be followed like there will be some digital signal processing algorithm there will be machine learning other approach and uh, another approach might be using javascript so i'll be uh, uh, discussing some of the approach not all but a few of them yeah so yeah what is the traditional approach not traditionally uh, it is approached as uh, polyphonic polyphonic means multiple sounds together so uh, individual notes are played that is known as monophonic so polyphonic transcription uh, task to identify uh individual notes which is then followed by a symbolic inference stage determine the chord so what uh, it will do is input signal in input signal will identify the individual notes and then predict the chord now the errors occur due to this uh, traditional approach is uh, the errors result from the noises and the overlapping harmonics of the notes in the spectrum of the audio signals now as uh, uh, the notes when are played together they come out as uh, they they will have their harmonics as well so if i play one note with one frequency it will have its uh, descendant harmonics as well so it uh, it is erroneous and plus if noises are added to it it will uh, create errors to my final detection so this e inevitable errors make the chord recognition task difficult so this is the traditional approach in the figure you can see input signal then sing, uh, input signal uh, is used to detect individual notes uh, and where no harmonics are considered no noise is considered and there will be out an output which is a chord uh, so that that output chord will be having the, will be having greater probability of being error like it will be incorrect so yeah so uh, the very first in the um, accurate one i would say uh, approach will be uh, there is a algorithm where uh, the uh, we first uh transform an input sound to a discrete fourier transform spectrum 
now from which pitch class profiling is derived and then it does pattern matching on pitch class profiling to determine the chord type and root <clears throat> now what happens here is i'll uh, Fourier transform uh, basically what Fourier trans uh, discrete Fourier transform does is um, I have a input signal I have a output output is uh, related to let's say I have a audio signal and I want it like I want what all ingredients are used to actually obtain that output so if uh, there is a juice and uh, by tasting i want to uh, uh, tell or detect that what all fruits were used to uh, make that juice so similarly uh, i have a, a signal which will have lot of harmonics and uh, uh, i want to detect what all the uh, individual uh, uh, sound waves which were used which will be summed up to get the resultant output then this uh, transform will be uh, converted uh, then uh, pitch class profiling will happen to this transform now what uh, pitch class profiling is we basically uh, in uh, pitches we have some uh, uh, i would say 10 uh, different uh, levels which are known as octaves now each octave has a frequency range so let's say uh, i uh, some uh, like audio is from in hertz i would say is from 20 to 30 hertz and i am defining this range to be uh, the first octave and then similarly there will be a frequency ranges which will be uh, uh, defined as octave so similarly we have some 10 octaves and these 10 octaves will have 12 notes we have a note scale uh, a a ha uh, a a hash b b hash c just like that we have 12 notes which comes under each octave with different frequency for example uh, for fourth octave the a note will have 440 hertz frequency and for first very first octave the a note will have just 40 hertz frequency i'm just saying for the example so uh, notes will be same the scale 12 notes will be same but the octaves change so now i have 10 octaves and 12 notes so what pitch class profiling does is it uh, it will be a scale of 12 levels no matter what the octave is but it will uh, divide my signal into 12 levels so 12 levels mean 12 nodes if you see here uh, in this uh, middle one pitch class profiling i have 12 nodes and there will be uh, intensity so uh, bar, uh, intensity or the energy strength which is uh, defined by the height of this bar so if you see here top three bars are b g and e so i can uh, detect i can do a pattern matching onto it and detect that this is a e minor chord now what is the advantage of this like this will not be affected by the octaves this will not be affected affected by the noise so uh, it in experiment it is seen that uh, even if uh, noise comes into the picture the energy of the peak uh, uh, peak notes in the uh, pitch class profile will not be affected at all so yeah this is a robust way to find out uh, the chord so we'll have some predefined chord templates chord templates are defined as uh, like i have uh, an array of 12 in which three are ones three notes are ones which represent three notes in the scale of 12 and other will be zeros the combination of those three notes is then matched to the resultant uh, uh, chord that is e minor here in this case this is the very first uh, algorithm which is the accurate one also now the other one is neural network approach madmom cnn plus crf chord detection so 
uh, there is a suggested data driven approach for the chord recombination which is implemented in madmom library so madmom is basically a python library uh, which is used for this audio processing uh, task using cnn and let's consider a feature extraction and pattern matching sequence decoding stages of the algorithm now here i'm explaining the algorithm so the first step will be auditory model so cnn will be is trained to directly predict the chord labels for each audio frame so now my audio input from mic or uh, input from uh, any sound file is broken up into frames and then uh, the hidden representations computed by cnn are used as features for subsequent pattern matching and chord sequence decoding stage now this basically uh, has two steps first one is pre processing uh, in this uh, stft is used as time frequency transform then filter bank with the logarithmic space triangular filters applied to the spectrogram finally filtered magnitudes are logarithmized to compress the value range then cnn is paired with the spectrogram frames with the context which means a matrix with spectrogram for several adjacent frame then sec on the second step for pattern matching and chord sequence uh, uh, decoding authors connect a crf to a auditory model and these parts could be learned jointly and separately which is preferred both in terms of convergence time and performance now this particular model is trained to recognize a uh, 25 chord stage that uh, those are 12 majors and minors plus uh, the state where no chord is being played so zeroth uh, condition so uh this this is cnn based approach now the third one is javascript approach so uh these uh, uh, uh there is a javascript library which is essentia so it has two chord evolution uh, algorithm so basically if we see what thing is common is in all the three algorithms is harmonic pitch class profile then if we want to uh, go more into deep we can uh, after this harmonic uh, pitch class profiling we can do octave detection as well to get a specific uh, uh, chord for example uh, pitch class profiling uh, doesn't is not affected by octaves and uh, there are chords which are dependent on octaves like if i have a c note in the four octave it is known as c4 in the fifth octave it is known as c5 now i want i have two different chords defined in the template for both of uh, these uh, chords so i have e minor for uh, this thing uh, fourth octave and e minor for fifth octave so i want uh, i can add up one step after harmonic pitch class profiling is octave detection and i can detect oct uh, octaves easily and get the specific uh, uh, chords specific to the octaves yeah now essentia uh, uses two uh, el evaluation algorithm one is chord detection and other one is chord detection beats now chord detection beats consumes time times for beats which must be estimated beforehand externally like uh, by the, they have a, a algorithm for beat uh, tracking so overall quality of segmentation and chord detection depend on third party beat detection as well so uh, chord detection beats evaluate chord for each inter beats interval other one is chord detection evaluates chords for overlapping segments of a specific length uh, for example 2 second is default i can change this value centered around each of the frames to which the audio is initially cut so now actual uh, this algorithm what it does is under under the hood for chord estimation essentia used a key algorithm uh, so a short time fourier transform is obtained then for each frame of audio input then spectral peaks are detected then harmonic pitch class profiling happens on these particular peaks 
then this uh, h uh, this harmonic pitch class profiles are averaged for each segment and the average harmonic pitch class profiles are then matched to tone profiles essentia's tone profile set of chords consists of 25 binary profiles so uh, similar to madmom uh, there are uh, uh, basic uh, uh, 25 uh, 25 i would say uh, 24 profiles uh, like uh, uh, 12 major 12 minor it doesn't give a zero uh, condition but i have an option so to set strength value so if uh, the strength value of a particular uh, chord comes less than 80 or 85 percent i can make the chord as no chord detected so this is basic logic for the no chord state for this yeah so yeah this is it about a uh, three uh, yeah in the figure here you see a pitch class profile for different chords it's a basically it's a audio signal which was passed and at 26 se second uh, it was em then 51 em 77 d like that so yeah that is it yeah. any questions uh yes uh you are mentioning something about uh like when you record an audio or in real time you there'll also be a lot of noise yes. so how would you isolate that noise so uh, as i mentioned uh, pitch class profiling is uh, not uh, much affected by uh, this uh, noise uh, peaks will remain the same so if i add up noise to a signal it will have some more energy than before let's say i had an energy of 50 percent then adding to the no adding to the noise the energy level becomes uh, uh, somewhere around uh, 70 percent but the profiling remain the same it will remain in uh, peaks will remain the same it will remain in the same profile on the scale of 12 so it is it is tested and it is not uh, affected uh, by this noise yeah okay and uh, like you were also mentioning that uh, uh, learning algorithms may be used like machine learning and also like what exactly needs to be learned in this like even let's say for human like mm -hmm. what should they learn uh, when trying learn, to recognize the chord learn in the sense um, it's like basically a, uh, uh, what uh, algorithm does is it plots a spectrogram of a input frame let's say two seconds frame and that spectrogram is uh, basically learned against uh, a chord <laughs> okay anything else uh like of the three models uh, is essentia like the best one like I, uh, uh, the, first, and... the the first one the first okay. one which i felt i am uh, like uh, there is no prov proved data but yeah i tried running uh, uh, the essentia one and uh, the first one both madmom i am yet to test but yeah uh the first one looks very promising <laughs> okay like uh in essential there were two modules uh you were showing one was chord detection one which uh, one was uh, chord detection beats yes so what is the beats part the second one yeah i haven't explored much on the beats part but yeah um Mm, I can check and elaborate on this more, but yeah, uh, my um, concentration was on chord detection, so I haven't uh, checked uh, much on this piece. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Thank you.